here at the Recovering Communities Conference. I've just grabbed a couple of minutes with Mark to talk about that in 2005, this started with 18 people, and today we've just been to Deirdre Addictions today. There must be 400 people. Looks like there's 400 people here to me, yeah. And it all started in June 2005 with 18 people sat around a table in government office saying what would happen if we introduced the idea of recovery into the treatment systems in the northwest. And here we are with 400. And it, it's just amazing to see that you come through the doors and it really does hit you, doesn't it? This yeah. is gathering oh, momentum. Absolutely. Yeah. That, and, and this is all aspects of people in recovery, isn't it? it we've is. got the service providers, we've got people probably in active addiction, looking for treatment. There's a whole host of people here today. Everybody's here today. We've got people like myself who are commissioners, or well, active for commissioners. We've got the commissioners themselves, people who buy, purchase treatment, people who provide treatment, and a whole range of people who experience treatment. Some are in long-term recovery, some are for whom recovery is a brand new idea. For our viewers out there then, Mark, what would you like to see come out of today? What's the real, what do you really, just that we raise the profile, that people get what it's all about? Absolutely. The thing about recovering communities is it's sustainable. Okay. In an economic downturn, you know, any investment that people make in a recovering community, whether it's personal, financial, uh, professional even, you know, it'll be here to stay because once people have got well and there's a momentum of people getting well, then that's, that's going to carry on. And for me, recovery, being an active recovery myself and yeah. having to work at it all of the time, yeah. it, for me, it's become a journey, yeah. and that journey is over the rest of your life. Absolutely. You're having to work at it all the time, and life yeah. changes, doesn't it? Sure. And I think meeting so many different people, yeah. you, it, uh, uh, occasions like this for me often remind me of the people who are coming through the door yeah. that struggle like me, yeah. and the people ahead of me who are doing yeah. really well and seem absolutely. to be really sorted. Yeah. And you get a real sense of that's what's going on here today. There's oh, a real yeah. buzz about the place. There's an absolute buzz about it, yeah. I mean, it's a recovery's arrived, you know. Uh, there are some, still some people who think it's, it's radical, recovery is radical. I did, you know, a few years ago, but now it's, it's fast becoming the norm, and more and more people want it. And I think what we're trying to do within Excess is to really raise the profile and image and improve the profile and image yeah. of recovery. Yeah. Because just for our viewers out there, Mark, and I realise you're busy today, but there is still a huge void between people who need treatment and recovery, people stuck in addiction, we were often saying that there's nothing out there, yeah. and yet we know there are an awful lot of yeah. organisations now. Why do you think that's still going on? Why do people feel there isn't enough out there when really we know there is? I don't think enough people have realised... I've met people in recovery. That's the problem. There's nothing like one addict talking to another, one alcoholic talking to another. That's The therapeutic value of that is without parallel. Uh, and up till now, people have struggled to experience that. But now, when you meet somebody, you meet somebody like yourself or meet somebody in recovery, it's there in front of your eyes. We need role models, don't we? Role we need models, possible absolutely. role People who have yeah. turned their lives around yeah. Yeah, and have made a success of it. Absolutely. Not, and, and a success in a, a quality of life more than anything else. Like. Absolutely. It's the quality. Recovery is a journey. It's meant to be fun as well. You know, if, we, you know, if, if this were going to be a glum lot, then we wouldn't stay very long, but clearly it's not. And again, just listening into the background now, this place is alive, isn't it? Absolutely. You should be really yeah. proud of how far this has come. Oh, it's fantastic. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it is fantastic, yeah. And we'll just go from strength to strength now into other regions. We've got people from the West Midlands here, people from Yorkshire and Humber. So the recovery road show that we're rolling into a, anywhere near you now. <laughs> it's a bit like Motown. Yeah, yeah, isn't it? it is. Yeah, it's yeah, a bit yeah, like it Motown. Is. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to see you in two weeks. Yeah, brilliant. Looking forward to it. And you, Mark. Yeah. Thanks very yeah, much. Yeah, Take care. Yeah.